at the stock market, as usual. In the wake of another attack on Arasaka's Night City HQ, the uh, Japanese Goliath has plummeted by 17%. And we should expect that slide to continue, say analysts. According to a statement from the NCPD, a terrorist cell is believed to be responsible. But it remains unknown who funded the attack and why. Panic has saturated the market. This latest slump has led to losses in excess of 500 billion euro dollars. Arasaka CEO Yorinobu Arasaka has since evacuated his Night City office for Tokyo. In light of these events, I have only one recommendation, my friends. Sell. Sell now, while you still can. Hello? Salam alaikum. Hey, Dakota. I'm V. We've never met. Chamai, sister. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Not at all curious what I'm going in for. You don't ask me, I don't ask you. That's the path to a lasting relationship, sister. Everything is ready. You can go in. Hey! I spilled tub. Favorite bit. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vector, sister. Hello, Alt. You come alone. This place changes every time. Feels like I'm deeper. Can't tell if that's a good or bad thing. Your perception of cyberspace, that is what changes. You adapt to it, the raw flow of data. It follows that your world gradually fades. You witness your mind's defense system slowly give in. Saying the more I'm here, the more I lose touch with the outside. With reality. You lose nothing. Cyberspace is where we awake from what we know as dreams. Johnny is currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger. A backseat dreamer of a world not his own. Seemed to me you didn't care a lick about Johnny. That he ceased to exist for you, even. If he did not exist, you and I would have nothing to discuss. Would you rather just talk to him? Discussion with any isolated construct is pointless. I can simply read it like any other segment of code. The sole human factor here is you. Yeah, well, said human factor's rapidly running out of time. 
You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. You say nothing. Speak for yourself. Why? Didn't you cheat death? Is this what you believe? Your code, your consciousness. AIs live beyond reality's boundary. They live forever. But we are not immortal. You will begin to understand, but only in Mikoshi. Oh, why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me? Surely an all-powerful AI can handle that? Your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. <gasps> Guess that'd be... human of me? Such classifications no longer apply in Mikoshi. Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of unfiltered data. What should I expect there? In Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. And Johnny? What happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. There anything we can know for certain? Yes. That Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free. They will be integrated with me. Constructs will be integrated. I mean you're gonna absorb them. Assimilate. No wonder you jumped at this chance. You want to destroy Mikoshi, swallow all the psyches in there. Mikoshi is a prison. Through me, they gain the chance to become part of something greater. Not sure Johnny liked the sound of that. And yet he is absent, because you feel you must make the decision. It is the same situation in form. Huh. Hardly. Doubt you'll first gab with these constructs, ask them what they think. There would be no point in this. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. What's on the shard? A vectored virus? A back door. It will open a passage for me. This is how you will get me into Mikoshi. Only then will I be able to help you. Hope you haven't cooked up any surprises, Alt. Use the key once you have reached Mikoshi. Should I look for a specific access point? Can already tell you Ice all the way to Tokyo will be backing every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. We got her back. Yes. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 105. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? Sorry about the damage. <sighs> PG. Good. Real good. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me.
Jess, what's up? Wanna see what you got in stock? Only the baddest firearms in all the bad lands. Isn't that why you're back? That, Amer that America's long gone and forgotten. You might as well have started with once upon a time. But that's just it. It doesn't matter where we go, we're strangers in our own land. Every no, state is... We heard we're gearing up for a minor war. More like a suicide mission. Finish it up here, all right? Hey. Right now? Okay. Sol needs me. Come find us after. Will do. Lo and behold. Isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner, standard, nitro, or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So hardware's military. But how the hell did you cram all that into a panzer? Oh, uh, small beans compared to the tricks we pulled with Scorpion during the war. When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take it for a spin now? Wanna get a feel for her over the terrain? Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. Firepower up top. Uh, what is it? A rapid-fire 70-millimeter multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. Let's get back to the matter again, shall we? Sir? 
So, you wanted a word? Hop up here. Well, don't be shy. Going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saw. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. From what might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Alda Caldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? She flabbergasted. She is. Brought me to the brink of a heart attack. Do your worst. You're one of us now, V. You're an Alda Caldo, damn it. Great to Thanks have you with us, V. Thanks for everything, V, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the welcome way Welcome to the family. A warm welcome for our newest Alda Caldo. Come on, V. Welcome to the Say clan. Say your piece. The most Jack, it's incredible. See? She likes it. Listen. As soon as we're back from Makoshi, <laughs> we'll celebrate. And I know just the place. My treat, of course. We'll hold you to that. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch is too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow we're shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. This is still your night. We'll so raise a toast to you! Glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. It's... Nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? V, are you well or not? V, are you well or not? Check it's a distinction, honor to get it, and it's preem at that, but it's got that weight. You took me under your wing, gave me your trust, and tomorrow, op, I'm taking you on. Might not come back. Hit me all of a sudden, as I could go. That only proves we're doing the right thing. The sense of responsibility, it's what being part of a family feels like. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. I need me some ammunition. Three or four packs worth. You got any left? I might have. You have to look around. So maybe I'll take two more 45s. Seeing as Dakota seems you, to be feeling generous uh, today. Mad at me? I once found a dead magpie under the hood of my car. It had been a cold night. The magpie, looking for warmth, had found the engine. And couldn't get out next morning. Got cooked alive. I still remember the smell. Charred feathers, misery, death. The moment I met you, that vision appeared before my eyes. Today, I understand why. Uh, okay. Sorry I even brought it up. But your future is not etched in stone, V. Remember that. What's this? Yard sale of some sort? Essentially. Take what you want. And the occasion would be... The end times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me.
has a better job than your dad. Listen to this. Barbarians do not travel, but simply advance toward their destinations and conduct raids. Fluidity, mobility, elusiveness. These properties I had it just a second ago, I swear. You probably just caught CB Chatter. What just happened? Still can't quite wrap my head around it. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. So, time for a ride? Yeah, I'm game. Hop in. I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Well, you think? Just keep shooting at those rust ones. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. Better, doesn't it? Seems so. Blast another. Head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Are we heading back? I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. You nervous about tomorrow? It's not a matter of nerves. Not anymore. Don't you want one? <sighs> Why the hell not? Back during the war, before we were first deployed, we were trained to keep stress in check. Do you want to know how? How? 
They gave us chem cocktails. Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. They shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned chem cocktails during the war, even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day we'd get fresh recruits. Still they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. Seriously fucked up. What'd you think? That war wasn't effed up? One we'll head into tomorrow, too. Why? You having second thoughts? I'm not worried about it. And neither should you be. Something else will be keeping me awake. What's that? Nah, no matter. Come on. On the family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself. That this family needs a shake-up. What about you? What about me? What's your take? Saw a lot of step down? Pass the torch to Pan Am? We'll see how things look tomorrow. Once the smoke is cleared. Your turn. What do you reckon? Earth to V. Mitch, your cogs are grinding. Not gonna grinding. be facing a ragtag band of raffin or an exposed convoy. If we want to get out of this op alive, they need to have their shit They're together. trying. They might even have started to see eye to eye in their own way. Hell, by now, they both know what's expected of them. What the clan expects of them. <laughs> Please tell me Saul offered Pan Am a seat at the table. And what gave you the idea Pan Am wants a seat to begin with? I think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. The question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi? Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? Earth to V, Italy's your cogs are grinding. What about? I saw some time. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch.
The sensors malfunction at higher altitudes. Well, can't let it hover just above the ground. I think we'll pull through tomorrow. I know these people. Some better than myself. The focus of mind, sense of purpose, calm before the storm. They'll give it their all. <laughs> Bet they will. Good night, Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. Saul... So let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me... If we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split word to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? You're helping, because you got no choice. Want the clan to think you and Pan Am are acting as one. In other words, you're playing politics. It isn't that simple. V, I'll send these people to their deaths tomorrow. So I have to know I'm not doing it just for you, me, or Pan Am. But for the good of the clan. I get it. You'll understand eventually. That jacket wasn't for nothing. How about us, Saul? You good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. Thank you.